HD. This is 13 Eyewitness News at 4. Let's talk about health news. Turn to Christy Myers now and talk about fertility, but from the male angle. And it's very interesting. It's a much bigger problem than I think most people realize. And here are some reasons why. Researchers may have pinpointed the reason why sperm counts in men are dropping and have been dropping over the past 50 years. They say women who are obese or smoke during their pregnancy can cause their sons to have a low sperm count in adulthood. Previous studies have just shown that declining sperm count has been a problem for Western men for decades. In fact, in the 1940s, sperm counts were typically well above 100 million per milliliter. Now, it's not surprising to find men with sperm counts of less than 20 million. Reproductive endocrinologist Dr. Timothy Hickman says a healthy lifestyle can help men protect their sperm. Smoking is clearly detrimental to high alcohol intake, and that's typically more than one drink per day on average, and three would be caffeine use. Some studies have suggested as low as two cups of coffee a day could be detrimental to DNA for, um, in the sperm head. But researchers say the choices a mom-to-be makes during her lifetime can be even more important than those her son makes during his when it comes to sperm production. So, so the study's looking at sperm, but it seems almost as if it's aimed more at women than right. at, at men. Women when they're pregnant, because the study very clearly shows it starts with that pregnancy. A woman who is obese should try to lose weight before getting pregnant. And this study really reinforces the fact that smoking during pregnancy is bad, in this case, for her future son's fertility. Right. I was going to say, let's talk about why this matters. If a man does have a low sperm count, does this mean he's out of luck when it comes to having children? No, and that is the good news here. Dr. Hickman here in Houston says he uses many effective procedures to correct for problems that affect sperm count, like misshapen sperm or sperm that lacks movement. And several procedures are so easy they can be performed in the doctor's office. He says even when a man has an extremely low sperm count, in most cases, he is still able to help that couple have children because the procedures have gotten so good that they can actually take one and two and three sperm and help a couple conceive. But you want to avoid this. And so it's important for women, now that we know this is true, mm -hmm. to be aware for your own children so that they don't have to deal with this later so in life. So you get grandchildren. So. <laughs> That's right. You don't fuss at them. It might be your fault. Oh, my. And coming up today at 6 o'clock, a story of a college student whose life was turned upside down, first by meningitis and later by flesh-eating bacteria.